consortium between OTV and Al Ghanem International has been awarded by the Ministry of Electricity and Water the construction and operation of the Azur South Seawater RO desalination plant. The new plant, which will have 30 million gallons per day capacity, will feature three main steps of treatment pre treatment by filtration, reverse osmosis full salt removal, pre carbonation to meet appropriate pH and alkalinity levels. plant will be connected to the power plant cooling system discharge culverts, from where the seawater will be directed to the intake pumping station. Four pumps will feed the pretreatment with a total flow of 14,000 cubic meters per hour. Good performance of the pretreatment plant is essential to the satisfactory operation of the reverse osmosis system. Our selection combines self-cleaning filters to remove particles larger than 15 micrometer, as well as dual media gravity filtration, which allows reduction of turbidity and removal of all suspended solids and colloids to provide membranes with good feed water quality. Dual media gravity filters consist of 10 rectangular concrete tanks in which filtration is carried out through a double layer of 1.5 meter of sand and 1.5 meter of pumice. Operation of each filter is totally independent so that the total water capacity can be produced with two gravity filters out of filtration. Gravity filters are arranged in a 2x5 configuration with the technical gallery between housing valves, backwash air, and water collectors. During normal operation, the media accumulates organic and biological matters, which results in an increased head loss across the filter. It is therefore necessary to carry out a periodical backwash to recover filtered flow rate and quality. The backwash procedure associates water and air to remove the solids that are entrapped within the filter bed during the filtration process. The reverse osmosis trains are fed from the filtered water tank through LP pumps followed by cartridge filters. These cartridge filters are operated in order to protect RO membranes from colloidal fouling by rejecting all particles bigger than 10 microns. Reverse osmosis is a one-pass system with a 42% water recovery. The actual separation between salt and water occurs in each of the 10 RO skids. The feed pump forces the filtered water into several RO vessels at pressure around 80 bars. Inside the vessels, the water is fed through a water in process solution spiral membrane. This specialized membrane acts like a filter. They prevent most salt ions from passing through, allowing the separation of the desalinated water from the feed water. The desalinated water then flows to a pipe in the center of the tube assembly. The membrane is coiled around the central collection pipe. Once the desalinated water leaves the membrane, it is clean and free of almost all salt ions and other compounds. The wastewater that was not desalinated is now highly concentrated with salt ions. This waste stream is called brine. An energy recovery system called Dual Work Exchange Energy Recovery is implemented for each RO train in order to transfer hydraulic energy from the high pressure brine to the seawater across the piston. The water produced by the RO is called permeant. During normal operation, membranes accumulate mineral scaling or colloidal particles on their surfaces. This can result in a loss of efficiency and an increase in feed pressure. 
It is therefore necessary to carry out a periodical chemical cleaning in place to recover permeate quality. The RO permeate requires remineralization to comply with the specified product water quality. The recarbonation system is designed to reach 60 to 80 mg per liter as alkalinity and a pH value of around 8. This is achieved by injection of CO2 through an absorption tower and a filtration through 10 limestone filters. Final pH adjustment allows the water to reach the appropriate quality before being distributed to the network. Analyzers are implemented throughout the plant for continuous monitoring of seawater quality and control of plant performances. Main rooms and galleries are equipped with heavy lifting equipment since design has been developed to ensure easy maintenance of all devices. The selection of proven processes for which Veolia has gained experience throughout its project all over the world will allow the production for the design capacity in safe conditions, thus making Azur Sauce our desalination plant a reliable source of drinking water for the state of Kuwait.